Hey guys, it's me, it's me, it's May December, it's me, and I'm back again with another video, and this time it's a Blu ray update video from Scorpion Releasing, Severed, and Shirt Factory. I've got quite a few titles here, which I'm looking forward to talking about. Some of them I wanted more than others uh, for quite a period of time, and others I've seen before and just added to my collection again. So, here we go. So, the first one is Presents by Dario Argento, a verse sect. Now, I've owned this on DVD for a very long time, but never ever watched the DVD. I think it's because I was waiting for a Blu ray, and this Blu ray came out, I think, ages ago. But this has a new edition slipcover, and I've got number 1065 of 3000. So, I'm really happy about that. So, I can finally watch it because it's always looked like a decent movie. Now, I picked this up because it was cheap, and that was the card player. Oh, wrong way around. Card player. Uh, this film is terrible. It's one of Dario Argento's worst movies. About a killer who basically kidnaps people and kills them if the police lose poker with him on a really old computer. Yeah. <clears throat> it's as exciting as it sounds. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. But, as a completionist of Dario Argento, I had to get this. Originally, I saw this on the Arrow DVD release. So, yeah. But I do like this cover. Now, I've always wanted to watch this one. Uh, but never got round to it, and finally was able to get a lovely slipcover, and that was The Phantom of the Opera by Dario Argento. Now, I've never seen this, all I know is for Asia Argento's in it, and I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing his interpretation of it. So, yeah, should be good. That was the Scorpion releases. Now we're on to Shard Factory, and I picked up The Hunted, starring Christopher Lambeau. Now, the Hunted, I have a very kind of uh, soft spot for, because I saw this originally on TV when I was a kid. And uh, I've always been a big fan of ninjas and martial arts movies. And this movie, I don't know why, but when I watch a ninja film, I go, you know what, if I'm not watching American Ninja, if I'm not watching Enter Ninja, let's put on The Hunted. Because it's just so much fun, and I highly recommend it. Then I was able to pick this up really cheap in the uh, sales on Amazon. Because Amazon had, Amazon had these coupon sales, I think, the last couple of weeks. Some of them more than others. Like, some of them were like $25 off. Some were like $4 off. This one was discounted because of a Shout Factory sale on Amazon. But then at the same time, it had a coupon which made it about $20. And I was like, I've got to jump on that because I really want to watch these in HD. And that's the Street Fighter collection. Now, I've always wanted to see these, but they've always been really bad prints, you know. So, I'm glad I'm finally going to get to see them properly in HD. But yeah, what a beautiful cover that is. And now all I need is get Sister Street Fighter with the slip to go with it. Now, these two collections I've wanted for so long, because I remember watching a couple of the DVDs of Human Base. And, what was the other one? Blue Eyes and a Broken Doll. And I was like, yeah, these are bad quality, but I hope they release a Blu-ray at some point. And they did. And they were in collections like, there have been some price share factory collections, which are ridiculous money now. I mean, I think Volume 1 was sold out, and then they re-released it. And I think it's like Volume 3 now, which is like $400 to buy off people. Crazy, for like four or five movies. But this is the Paul Nashy collection, Volume 1. And inside it, you get The Horror Rises from the Tomb. Human Base, Vengeance of the Zombies, Night of the Werewolf, and Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll. Now, I've seen Human Base, and I really enjoyed that movie. And I've seen Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll as well, and that was pretty good. So, yeah, I'm really glad to have this. This is a five-disc set for one disc having each movie on. Uh, really, really great. I got this for, I think, about $25, I think it was. Which is a bargain, because it's normally like $45, $50. And to go with that, I got the Paul Nashie Collection Volume 2. Which has Hunchback of the Bulk, Exorcism, a Dragonfly for each corpse, the Werewolf and the Yeti, and the Devil's Possessed. Which is basically exactly the same as the other one. Five discs, five movies. They've both got booklets in them. I'm looking forward to opening them up and watching them. And hopefully, probably reviewing them. So, got both of them. Then I finally was able to pick this up, even though I'm sure, like many other people, 
I wanted the original blue kind of purple cardboard box version that Shadow Factory released. But I highly doubt I'll ever get that because it's really expensive and I don't see the point in paying two, three hundred dollars for something, but especially saying that I've never really watched either. And that is the uh, Director's Cut of Nightbreed. I got this for eight dollars during one of the sales on there. So I was quite happy with that. Had to open it up because the disc was loose. Okay, and uh, this one I picked up on eBay because it was cheap to go with the Scorpion release and stuff, and that was the Exterminator Toe. I've seen the first one. I didn't mind it. I wasn't like the biggest fan or anything, but I won't. I won't mind watching uh, number two. So I thought. I thought screw it for uh, four dollars. I pick it up. Okay, now we've got the seven stuff. And I realised I've got another tile in there from uh, Cult Epics, so I'll probably show that one off as well at the end. So, I picked up Werewolf in the Girls Dormitory. This looked like a lot of fun. Uh, it's an old black and white movie from 1961. And uh, yeah, it was only $8. And on Severin's website, I think it was like 20 So, and it's got a CD soundtrack and a booklet in it. So, I was like, yeah, I'll get that. I uh, got the limited edition slipcover version of The Beast Must Die. Which, I'll be honest, isn't the greatest slipcover. And all it is is a slipcover over the standard version. There's no bonuses or anything. So, to be honest with you, there's no point paying an extra like, $8 for it. But luckily, I got it for 10 So, I'm happy with that. Picked up this documentary, All the Colours of Yellow. And I've got to be honest with you, the documentary is alright. And so is the trailers. But I kind of expected more from it. Um, you know, the problem is when you're a big fan of Jello films and you watch Jello documentaries, after a while they all feel like the same thing. Because they're always talking about, oh, Demo Argento, you know, uh, Fulci, all these. And it's true, they are. They're all the masters of the thing, of the genre. But it just feels like maybe, you know, go a little bit out of the box and do a little bit more, you know, to make it interesting. Like most of the time you're just looking at people sitting there talking. And that's not boring by any means, but you kind of feel like what's going to grip the average person who might want this to see if they'd like Jello or something that would draw you in more. You know, like more things that like, don't tell me about Burnley because of Bloomage. Tell me about something I haven't seen before, like one of the more rarer Jellos. So I'm like, oh, this really helped me. But I guess that's why you've got the four hours of um, trailers on here for uh, the Jellos, there's like 83 trailers on it to see, and you do see a lot that you probably haven't seen on it, but I would like that more in the documentary, personally. Then, I had the shameless version of this in England, and uh, I really liked it, and it's classified as one of the best Jolly of all time, and it stars Enrid Finch, I can never probably massive her name there, but she's one of the most beautiful women in all of Italy, and still is. And that is The Strange Vice of Mrs. Wolf. Look at that. Look at that cover. And it's got a CD in it too. And it's only limited edition to 3,000, even though I think this has been out for like a year or two now and it hasn't sold out at all, which surprises me. But then, yeah. Okay, and then we've got the two last tiles, which I'm just putting on the end, really, because they're not going to go with anything else. And that is the cult epics release of Death Laid an Egg. Now you might go, what's that on the cover? These are like art cards, like art card postcard kind of things that came free with it. Now, the funny thing with this is apparently these here, there's only 200 available when they're sold. And the slip cover only has 2,000 copies and it's kind of, and glows in the dark. I think a little bit, because it's got the light green, which looks like glows. I swear I saw on the thing it said that. But I want to know how I got this for $14, right, new and sealed, with this, if there's only 200 of them available. So, you know, it came out quite a while ago. But, hey, result for me, got on eBay. And uh, finally going to get to watch Death Laid an Egg properly, instead of a terrible DVD copy that was, wasn't even watchable. And then, to finish off, in a completely different direction, I picked up Baruto Naruto, The Next Generations, the Ninja Steam Scrolls. I think this is volume 8 in the Viz releases. What a name. Baruto Naruto Next Generations. I'm well, not quite Baruto the Next Generation of Naruto or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, great series. Me and the wife are enjoying this. 
So I picked this up because, again, in the coupon sale, it was really cheap. And, yeah, I went from, I think this went from, like, 29 to, like, 20. So, yeah, got this and got all them. So I was really happy with the stuff I've got. Hoping to watch them soon. If you've seen any of them before, let me know down below. If you're interested in any of them or you want me to review any of them, let me know down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for the support. Take care now, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.